Carolina Fishing TV, showing you how to catch more fish. All right, everybody, uh, welcome to Carolina Fishing TV. This is Captain Mike Taylor, Captain Jeff Croft. We're going to do something a little different today. We're uh, going to do some bottom fishing off the Welder's Ark. We've got some good friends with us. We're just going to go out and have a good time. We've got John Roberts, Drew Gavin, Ken Sheldon, and Barry McClure here behind us. We all hunt, fish, do everything together. We're just going to go out here and enjoy the day. Maybe catch some fish. We're gonna do it a little different though. We got this big boat, this big Jarrett Bay, we got some little rods. Silver? It's a decent one right there. Pretty one. We got 16 inches on the tail length. Both drifting here. Pretty fish right there. Yeah. Delicious. Something on the bottom rigs. Oh, there you go. Beeliner. Beeliner. Little beeliner. Might have two on there. Oh, lost one. There he is. There you go. Got him, John. Oh, oh shit. No, that's still good. Silver. Nice silver here. Nice silver. One thing about fishing all day long for bottom fish like this, a rag is worth its weight in gold. But you're not lying, otherwise you'll end up with that. Yesterday I didn't have one. And I've got a fish fin in that finger. Oh, Fun God. stuff today. That's a nice beeliner over there. Red mouth grunt. Grunt, yeah. Yeah. Double, triple? No. Uh, triple one up here. No, me, you, and Kenny. He's good. Uh, size line on him, yeah. Not low. Oh, look at him. Oh, pretty bee line is there. There's a decent one there. Nice silver. Oh, my goodness. That's a big old one. Big grunt there. We got one of John Stella 5000s on there, and we got a, just a J hook with some 90 pound fluorocarbon. The current's not real strong, but it is running straight off the stern, which is perfect. So we're going to keep a light line on the back in case the dolphin come through here or anything else on the surface. Got him on a jig. <laughs> Mike took my jig. Tied my jig right up. <laughs> yep. Hit it just, just as soon as it hit the bottom, they took it right off. Yeah. I don't know. Trigger! Oh my Trigger! <laughs> Snag! Trigger on the jig! And the knock. They, they hit it just as soon as it hits the bottom. Oh yeah. Nice. Nice silver. Pretty one there. Bottom fishing at its best. <laughs> Mike likes to cook these whole. He batters them up house off and cooks them whole. Man, they're delicious to us. <laughs> On such a good knot of silver snapper and beeliners that we're just gonna up the size on a little bit today and call out keep some bigger ones since we're not allowed that many of them. The small silver ain't too bad action. Any hits on the group of rods yet? No. Don't worry if one gets on the group of rod Mike I'll get it. Oh there you are. <laughs> <laughs> What are friends for? I'm beelining it. Nice.
Oh, that's a nice silver on the bottom there. One fish on, another one grabbed the other line. It could be a shark, uh, a little jack, a little Amico jack there. That D-hooker's nice. Taken. If you've never used one, anybody who fishes in the ocean, offshore bottom fish or anything knows what they do, but if you've never used one, if, if the hook is deep down a fish's throat, you can slide that down and push that hook down his throat further and unhook it and turn it and get it out. And if it's just hanging on the lip, you can use it, turn that fish upside down and drop him real hard and he'll come off the hook a lot of times. Keeps you from having to hold that fish so much and cut up your hands. Man made me out of my spot. <laughs> oh, that's something you just gotta have to know about Mike. That's a nice big one. Ah, boy. Yeah, okay. It's not big by no means. And we know that because you'd be bragging if it was much size to it. <laughs> There's my oh, boy. Oh, man. He's got to be floating. If you didn't see that, it was about a two and a half pound sea bass. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Again. We're on the ledge here. Got to be on that sea bass there. Grouper. There's the grouper right there. Turn him. Turn him. Mike's got a grouper on right here. What's the say, Jay? Oh, no, you don't. That's him. Mike's got him turned. That, that fish will go good size, too, there. Oh, God, John. Come on. Big boy grouper. Oh, yeah. Come on. Ugh. Don't you come off there. Is that a wider guy? He told me to get the small one. You want the small one or you want the big one? Oh, well. You might be good for it. Big boy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Love. Look at that. Come to Papa. Look at that hook that fell out. Look at that. Hook came out. That's what we come here for. <laughs> I guess we put him in the box, don't we? Pretty stuff right there. Pretty stuff. Now we have something we can grill tonight. Probably 21 pounds. Sweet, sweet, good job. That's a side tasting grouper. <laughs> this is a nice one. taking these any small live bait a pinfish or these little French grunts or anything we're taking that back dorsal fin off help make sure that bait slides right down his throat real easy just cut that right off it definitely can't hurt so if it helps anything that helps get that bait down his throat Ooh, bring that over here Super bait. let me see that <laughs> got one get him up. oh my goodness look at that yeah Hey, Kenny, catch me another bait. <laughs> hey, Kenny, catch bait. Nice one, man. Pretty gag. There's a decent one there. It's not going to compare to Mike's, though. Get the anchor chain, somebody quickly, please. Get the chain, quickly. Chain's gotta go up with the anchor. All right, we're good. John just got hung in the legs. That's some of that natural, you see the barnacles and stuff growing all over the top of that coral. And then that bottom, the legs are just covered with that, basically, all that growth. You know, all that attracts exactly what he has on the hook there. He has a French grunt on there. He took you in the legs already, didn't he? Yeah, he got him in the legs. He had you in the legs before you knew your hook. Yes, there he is, get him out of there, you got him. Yeah, you got him. I don't see him fighting at all. Oh, you got something on there, man. What in the world is that? What you got there? A lobster. I mean, a giant You got a lobster. lobster. Big lobster. Oh, here, here. Give it a Give it a Yeah, you're not allowed to keep them. You got to let them go. Regulations say you can only take 
Take the spiny lobsters if you're hand picking them. It's kind of cool though, see. Holy. Uh, that's the catch of the uh, day. That's a, that's a long <laughs> shot or a lobster. <laughs> Man, that's a pretty lobster. That's a big one. Those on 15 pounder. <laughs> Yeah, let me get yeah. that burger grip on that thing. That's pretty. Barry, after he just caught that lobster, it's just talking about 26 inch fruit. That's it, pretty one. Yeah. 300 yards wide, this whole place is nothing but fish like I this. I believe that. You doubled. You see how far you we are away from that other number? You got bee liners or what? The silver silver. Double silvers. Get him oh, up. Oh, that's a grouper. Get him up, get boy. Grouper. Got him a grouper on there. Yeah, boys. See what you can do with that Come reel on, there. Jimmy. He's got him now. Good job. It's not a red, is it? Is it? Yeah, it is. Red grouper? Nice! Oh my god. Man, it's Look, some skin. Look what's in his mouth. Oh, check this out. There you go. Look what's in his mouth. It's bait. <laughs> nice red. Nice stuff. Good job. We're in a big live bottom area. I didn't mark no ledge. It's just a big live bottom. We were drifting 300 yards from here, and the whole entire time we were catching fish. So we anchored up and it's about to happen. we dropped down the first drop. Drew's got him a nice red grouper here. These fish oh, here have to be 20 inches in length, not 24 like the gags. You're allowed three per person per day. Beautiful. And that's a total. Look at there, grouper and a silver. A little throwback. Is yours still 10 in bottom? Sea bass. bass. It's gotta be a grouper the way he's fighting there. Yeah, hey, that's a grouper. That's a little Ooh. gag, a little throwback gag. Needle him. Barely got him in the lip, too. Get him up. Uh, Season's closed Season's right closed. now. Can't keep them. Pretty fish right there, that's, that's a shame. That's pretty one, hold him up there. Mm -hmm. That's a tease right there, isn't it? True American Red. Don't feel like a grouper. No, you got American Red there. Yeah. Unless you got a, like a smaller scamp or something like that. Grouper. Hold on. Scamp. Scamp, nice. It'll go 20 inches. Scamp grouper. Total groupers. Three grouper per person. So if you have a gag grouper, you can't have a two scamp. 23 inches. He'll keep. Nice sea bass. Oh yeah. Trigger fish. Trigger, trigger. Now this is a spot.
I know he hit it 25 feet off the top. Little Jack. Baby Amberjack. Nice little mahi on the light line. Watch the bottom of the boat. Get him up! Get him up! Get him up! Man, that's my rod! <laughs> that's my rod! Get him up, get him up, two arms, like we said, two on, arms up top. Up. He's up. He's up. You, you got, got him. It's nice and easy, but yeah. It's a decent fish there. When you got concrete, you don't keep pulling. <laughs> Hold him up there. He's yours. Nice one. Good job, John. <laughs> Dig on him, man. Dig on him. Man, he's turned. What are you talking about? <laughs> Nice keg. Pretty one, man. Good job. All right. Pretty big. About 12 pounds. Once you get him about 20 feet off the bottom, just play him nice and easy. Keep pressure on him. Crank down, pull up. Nothing to it. No way. I think we're almost limited out on gags. Getting close, getting close. Scamp. What you got? Scampage. Gripper, keep. Scamp, keeper, right there. That's a nice scamp. Yeah! That's a nice about? He's 24 scamp. inches, 23 inch scamp. Good job, John. Hold that up right there. That's a grouper. It's a scamp. Give me as your liner. We got a scamp. Nice scamp. <laughs> and we're drifting back, and John just picked up about a 23 inch scamp right there. Mr. Yep. Patience. Caught him on a squid rig. That's what he did before. When you drifted the last spot, he caught that scamp. Grouper. Scamp. Small scamp. About 16 inches. Another scamp. Turn him. That's Grouper there. Oh, yeah. He's not no big. Huh? Just a nice scamp, I believe. Little okay. gag. Little gag. Oh, there he is. Oh, uh oh. That's grouper there, bud. Ain't no AJ. That's grouper. I think he'll keep. Nice one. <laughs> That's the gag we needed right there, no more. Pretty one. About 12 pounds. Gotta love it. It's awesome on a spinning tackle. What you got there? Damn. Fell off the hook around the gunnel, didn't he? I never made it to the bottom. <laughs> I want an AJ on. Grouper? Yep. I, if it made it to the bottom, it just hit bottom. Oh, yeah. It's got a tight head shape. That's, not, it, that's not no AJ, is it? Ow! <laughs> Stun! I made it. No! <laughs> 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 that thing slipped off my belt and went right into my belt. <laughs> yeah, I believe that's an AJ. That's what happens when you lock down drag with a 100-pound test. Ah! <laughs> that 100-pound holding, too. For now. There he is. Got him up. He ain't he ain't a nice one. 45 pounds, 40 pounds. By 40 pounds. Good shot. Just in there. Yeah, baby. Should go about 40, 40 pounds. Swimming away. Back here to the dock. We had a great day on the World Resort bottom fishing. We limited out in gag groupers, you can see, and uh, also limited out in the Pinky, uh, the silver snappers today. Caught a bunch of grunts, bee liners. We just had a blast, didn't we? It was a ball today. Good, good weather. Good weather, good friends, good, good time. fun. Good time. Good time.